Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Andrew Kaufman, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about my first new product. I'm going to be selling Shilajit, which is also called Mumio, and I'm gonna call my product Shilajit Mumio. And what is this, you ask? Well, this is the trace mineral supplement that I've been talking about um, in my natural healing uh, videos uh, since the beginning. And what it is, is it's a combination of two acids, fulvic acid and humic acid. And the fulvic acid is the more important one because what it is, is it's a substance that sucks up minerals, trace minerals, out of the surrounding environment and holds onto them. And it's highly absorbable into the cells in your body so those minerals can be properly utilized. So let me tell you a little bit about how it's formed. So what it is, is it's an oily, tarry substance that comes out of cracks in the rocks in the mountains. And what happened is that there was a forest at the base of that mountain when, before it formed. And when the earth started pushing up and forming the mountain, it covered up the forest. And because more earth kept piling on top of it as the tectonic plates pushed together and the mountain grew, the pressure and weight um, prevented those nutrients from being used to grow um, new plants um, and new life because it was kind of buried under the base of the mountain. And over time, this material under the pressure and weight um, and those conditions ended up soaking up all the minerals from the surrounding earth. And it somehow works its way out through cracks in the rocks and that's where it's harvested. And very interestingly, the way that um, we find these um, little cracks that contain this material is because after a rain, the rainwater starts dripping down and washes some of this tarry material into the water. And there are certain places where it drips off the edges of an overhang of rock. And animals actually go to those sites and drink up this liquid because they know that it contains all these rich minerals that will improve their health. And so this is how our harvester is able to locate the sites um, where he can go and harvest this material. Now, traditionally, this material comes from Central Asia. It comes from the Caucasus, Altai, and Himalayan mountains. And traditionally, the product that comes from the Himalayan mountains is called Shilajit and the product from the Altai Mountains and Caucasus Mountains is called Mumio. And uh, these are just uh, regional names um, and we're gonna use it for our product even though it's not from the, those locations. But actually our product is from the first domestic source that has really been exploited or located for this purpose and it's in the Rocky Mountains in Utah. And this is really important because some of the foreign products are contaminated um, either there is additional material that is added to them um, to, uh, so they can sell more uh, of it at a cheaper price, or sometimes there's runoff from mining operations that may be nearby that can contain heavy metals and contaminate the product. So the quality control is an issue. And then often they use child or exploitive labor practices um, in some of those locations. And it was really difficult when I was trying to source material there, um, even to get someone to have a conversation with and describe their operation, you could tell that a lot of these companies were really kind of sketchy and fly by night. So when I was able to locate a very reliable, high quality source in the United States, I was really excited. And I know exactly what happens to this product from the time it's harvested in the mountain until it reaches uh, your door because there are only two people that touch this material before it comes to me. And um, they're basically involved in the purification uh, process so that it, that it gets to you um, safely and in the right condition. So this is a very high quality um, product. Um, it's very tightly controlled and the methods that are used to purify it are really, really clean and excellent. So the only water that's added to it, for example, is distilled water. So nothing will adulterate this product. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about the health benefits of Shilajit so you can get an idea of how this might benefit you. Well, first of all, as I mentioned, or I may have mentioned before, modern agricultural practices have really depleted minerals from the soil. So whereas in the past, we used to get all these minerals um, from a normal diet, in the modern uh, food system, we're really unable to get these. Um, you'd have to really know 
where your food is grown and you'd have to test the soil to make sure that it had um, these minerals in it and it's very difficult to do that. But if you take this supplement, you can basically meet your body's needs. And what happens is that there are all of these metals that your body only needs in really, really small amounts. And some of these things are, you may not even heard of, things like molybdenum and manganese um, and tungsten. Um, but you, you need very small amounts because mostly these metals are used as cofactors in various enzymes. And if you remember, enzymes are what carry out our bodily functions uh, in terms of the chemistry. So when we don't have enough of these, our body tends to substitute other things and sometimes it can substitute toxic heavy metals like mercury and lead and arsenic. So when we have the right trace minerals in our body, it can displace those toxic ones and actually helps to detoxify us from those heavy metals. So it's really useful for that. And I always add it to anyone that's going through a detox regimen. It's, it's a strong recommendation, but it can also improve your enzyme function which can help uh, with certain types of physical conditions. For example, um, it will improve your circulation. So things like sexual dysfunction um, and then growth of hair, skin, and nails can be improved uh, by taking shilajit. Um, also, there are many organs that can improve their function with shilajit, including like the heart, kidney, um, the brain and nervous system especially, and even the gut. And then lastly, it seems to have a special... Um, effect on certain neurologic illnesses and especially uh, peripheral neuropathy, which is a type of pain syndrome or nerve pain where you get tingling um, and numbness, usually in the fingers and toes first, and then it can spread to other parts uh, of your body more centrally. And then also these trace minerals can help with neurodegenerative diseases. So they're very useful, one for everyone, just to maintain your optimal enzyme function. And then people with certain conditions, um, it can be really beneficial, especially where heavy metals are involved, circulatory function and neurologic um, related problems. So it's a very, very useful um, supplement. And in fact, it's the only supplement that I would say is really everyone should be taking on a regular basis. Most other things you may need uh, for a certain period of time, or you may have a deficiency in your diet that you need to make up. But I think everyone really needs some kind of trace mineral supplement like Shilajit Mumio um, in order to stay healthy. Now, I just want to tell you a couple of things that are special about my product um, to help it stand out aside from its purity. But I also want to say that the levels of heavy metals are extremely low, some of the lowest I've found. And you can find the certificate of analysis on the website that will be linked below where you can purchase this product. And um, normally Shilajit and Mumio come in a tarry substance in a tin um, that you kind of take out with a little spatula or a fork. And it's very, very difficult to work with. It's kind of sticky and gummy, and it's hard to measure out an exact dose. And so I was playing around with this and with my supplier and we were able to formulate a liquid form of this that makes it much, much easier to use. So it's the same exact material. Basically, we just added more water to it. So to thin it out because this material is, is very soluble in water. And so you can use the dropper, which is measured to get a precise dose. Um, so I think this will be much easier for the customers, um, for everyone out there to know exactly what dose you're getting and be able to reproduce that and not have this little, you know, tarry residue that you have to clean up or make a mess from. Um, so I, I chose to go this way and I hope you like this. And the dose for an average adult is eight drops per day. And if you're a really big person, you might want to increase that. If you're using it for treatment purposes, like to correct one of the conditions that I mentioned, you might want to consider a higher dose and take it on a daily basis until you improve. But for regular maintenance of an average person, um, eight drops a day for anyone that's close to average size, I would say if you're probably 250 pounds or over, you'll, you'll need a bigger dose. And if you're very slight, uh, maybe around 100 or 110 pounds, you might want to uh, try seven drops. But for almost all people, eight drops would be um, an adequate dose. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed learning about Shilajit and Mumio. And um, please, if you do have any questions, uh, please contact me through my website at Andrew Kaufman, MD. Dot com, and I hope to hear from you and I hope that you enjoy this product and that it contributes to your health. Thank you.